what it do y'all this your boy king yeah the great coming at y'all with another video be sure to subscribe and hit that like button for me so this here is going to be a tricky topic that i'm going to be tackling here and this this topic here is not going to be any remarks dispersing a race of people i'm getting that out there right then and there but this is something that has to be addressed because this is becoming very serious. Now, we all heard a story right now with YG where he was, they basically took his record off of streaming services because of the references that he made to the Chinese neighborhoods on his song, Meet the Flockers. Now, we're seeing Exhibit, he's a, being forced to apologize for the name of his weed company called Napalm. So let me read this to y'all. Like many other rappers, Exhibit has hopped on the marijuana train with his own weed company, Napalm Cannabis. But according to TMZ, the veteran rapper is being dragged online for a company's name for its perceived racist overtone. The name reportedly conjures a painful memory for those who, for some people who associate the Napalm with the Vietnam War that took place between 1965 and 1972. Okay, and Exhibit went on to say he didn't intend to offend anyone with the Asian American community and vowed to do better. My intention for naming the cannabis company Napalm was affiliated or not to the devastation it has in its past. He continued, I think the creative license I use for Napalm was purely based on a body of work as an artist Basically, that whole nigga explain. So let me go ahead and just break it to you, man. First of all, you can't really be surprised. This is what black people should have been doing from the start. The, the, the Asian community, they played it right. They played it right. They didn't go over there on the Trump train. They didn't go over there on the Joe Biden train. At the end of the day, their goal was either politician that gets in, they're going to kiss the ring. And they're going to meet demands. Only thing I'm not agreeing with is the simple fact that this whole black versus Asian war going down. Well, you know, you have a lot of black people just acting like some big bully gang from the 70s and just punching out old ladies and kicking over Asian people and just being, just destroying stores. There's nothing like that at all. But the media is pushing that narrative. But let me ask you guys this. Because they shank down YG. They shank down Exhibit. They're forcing all these entertainers to donate to Asian communities. Let me ask you guys this. Where's the smoke for Mark Wahlberg? Where's the smoke for Mark Wahlberg in his past? Nobody's saying nothing to him. But let me tell you what happened. When that happened, when that finally came, when that finally started becoming a discussion, guess what happened? One of their major actors co-signed and defended Mark Wahlberg. Hold on, I'm going to get his name. Because they was coming at him. They was getting ready to get cancel culture on Mark Wahlberg. And what's his name? Simu Lu defended Mark Wahlberg. And it just got brushed under. But yet now you see all these rappers, gangster rappers, they over there posting stop the Asian hate. They over there pandering to the Asian community, but yet at the same time, they're trying to make their own check-in. How does that work? You pander into one community, but yet you're forcing your own people to check in your neighborhood. Help me understand that. Help me understand that. But at the same time, this is what the Asian community did. They leveled up, man. This is what black people should have been doing. But nah, we wanted to play... Politics. We wanted to play politics like if this was the NFL. We got to pick Team Biden. We got to pick Team Trump. 
the Asian community fell back. You didn't really see a lot of Asians out there on the voting block. They fell back, put their resources together, and now they can call some shots. Now you got Joe Biden kissing their ring and sending them millions of dollars. Now you got politicians p p pandering to you. Now you got entertainers p pandering to you. We can't even come together for any simple discussion. We still got so many divided wars going on amongst ourselves that we can't even go to point A to point B. These organized people within their community, they came together for a cause and now they're calling shots. They're, they're punking these niggas. They're moving like the they're moving like the Jewish community, man. They straight making these niggas bow. And there's nothing you can do about it. Because for one, on top of that, they pick the ones that they know is gonna lean. A lot of these guys, and this is what I said many times when I said that hip hop is becoming too acceptable. Now you're going to these same companies for deals. And now they're forcing you to lean back. Because they're like, oh, if you want that 40 million, you're going to have to apologize, nigga. You're going to have to apologize to us. And that's what they do. And let me tell y'all something else that you got to be aware of. This is the gateway to censorship. This is the gateway to censorship right here. I seen, I've been calling it for the past 10 years. How what streaming was going to do. When you're leasing your entertainment, this is what the results are. They're going to start censoring records. They're going to start censoring movies. This is why you got to own your physicals. Physicals can never be duplicated to the point where it could be erased. The content is always going to be there. But now, you're giving these corporations licensing to where they control everything. Therefore, therefore they can edit certain songs out if they want to. All it takes is a couple complaints and a couple people crying on Twitter. There it is. There it is right there. So now, you can no longer get your physical media. Now you got to be dependent on how they distribute the media for you to consume. Y'all see where this is going? This is censorship, bro. Look how they took the boondocks off. Hunger, um, Aqua Force. Look at how they're trying to put disclaimers on old movies from the 80s. Now you now think about if they go ahead and dig up some of them classic rap albums. They're going to start deleting work lines from that. <laughs> Y'all better wake up and smell the coffee and realize, look, we can't play party politics no more. We, that's where we've been making our mistake. All these other communities, they fall in the shadows. While we out there dancing, we out there buck dancing, we out there trying to play teams, they don't care who get in. They like, either way, whoever get in, they're going to answer to us. And that's exactly what they're doing. And you can't really get upset. You can't get really upset with that because they're doing what we should have been doing, organizing. And any of these, if any of these entertainers get out of line, you, punt them, you, you put them in check. We don't do that with one another. We let them slide. We say, oh, he, he got, we make excuses and rationalize why he shouldn't get no flat. Oh, you a hater. Oh, you clout chasing. We rationalize stupid stuff, man. Whenever we try to check our own for being out of line, especially ones that go out of line and try to eat off disrespecting black people. It's unbelievable to me. So, this should be a wake-up call to com not only combat this, this narrative that's going on, but to also put our media game aboard. We got to be on top of our media, man. Like, Gully TV, big shout out to him. He did a test today where he posted a hashtag saying stop black hate. And they flagged him. They flagged them for doing that. So that could show you right there how they really feel about you. They're censoring rap songs for, for for references against Asians, but yet they're killing, but yet they're keeping songs that's killing black people, going find drug use, going find murder, going find black on black crime. This is how they feel about you. 
That's exactly how they feel about you. Now, I'm sorry for being long-winded, but this topic here is hold dear to heart, and I've just got to find a way to express it. We better get on code, man. Because the Democrat Party not found a new base, and you see how they're moving. They don't care about niggas no more. So it's time to establish and get our own. So that's my opinion, man. It's time to wake up. So subscribe, hit the like button. Let me know what you guys think. Peace.